Hello everybody, here are some model answers to the log homework for the BI308 uh, module skills for bioscientists. The first question was uh, solve for x, so we have got 10x, 10 to the power of x equals 10,000. And in order to get this x here, Um, this one here, we need to get rid of this 10 to the power of. So what's the easiest way to do that? We know that 10 to the power of something and log are the inverse operations. So when we have 10 to the power of, we can inverse the whole uh, uh, thing with log. So what we do here is we take both sides log to the base of 10 and what we get is log 10 to the power of x equals log 10,000 and just to make it clear and consistent what you see on your calculator, I put some brackets around that. Now, what we know is that log and 10 cancels out. So all we have left on the left hand side is an x equals, and here we still have log 10,000. And if we put that in a calculator, we get the number of four. So log 10, thousand equals four. The next question was solve for x if 10 to the power of x equals 0 0.01 and again we do exactly the same process. We try to get rid of the 10 to the power of and what we do is we take both sides log to the base of 10. So we've got log 10 to the power of x equals log 0 0.01. Again, I should put that into brackets. And we know that log and 10 eliminate each other. So we've got x equals log to the power of 0 0.01 and if we put that into a calculator we get minus 2. So the correct answer here is 10 to the minus 2. The next question 10 to the power of x equals 2. Again it is the same old story. We need to get rid of the 10 to the power of. So we take both sides log and we get log 10 to the power of x equals log of 2 log cancels out and we've got x left, x equals log 2 and for this I think I need to get my calculator out. This gives us 0 0.301. Here we've got another one, 10 to the power of x equals 0 0.005. Again, it's the same old story. We need to get rid of the 10 to the power of. So both sides log. We've got log 10 to the power of x equals log 0 0.005 log cancels out, we've got x left, and here we've got log uh, of 0 0.005, and when we put that in the calculator it gives us minus 2.301.
So the result of uh, our calculations can be positive or it can be negative. So this x can be positive or it can be negative. This number here can never be negative because we would have the log of a negative number and this is not defined. Let's have a look at another example. We have 10, 10 to the power of x plus 3 equals 1. Now that is a little bit more complex because we don't have just simply x up here in the exponent. We have something uh, plus x plus 3. So how do we deal with that? Well, again, first of all, we need to get rid of the 10 to the power of. And we know how this is done. We just simply take both sides log. So we've got log of 10 to the power of x plus 3 equals log of 1. And we know log and 10 to the power cancels out. So what we have left on the left hand side is x plus 3 equals and log to the power log of 1 again we can put that into a calculator but this gives us 0 so we reduced this equation here to basically this equation here so x plus 3 equals 0 and uh, that's again quite easy to solve because what we need to do is we do the inverse mathematical operation of this one here. So we take both sides negative 3 and we have x plus 3 minus 3 equals 0 minus 3. So plus 3 minus 3, this uh, uh, eliminate each other. So all we have left now is really x equals minus 3. And uh, very clearly that is the answer to this problem. Now let's have a look at another one. We have 10 to the power of minus x equals 0 0.0001. Now again, we want to get rid of the 10 to the power of. We know how we do that. We take both sides log. So we've got log of 10 to the power of minus x equals log of 0 0.0001 log and 10 cancel out. So we've got minus x equals and this one here would give us, if we put that in the calculator, minus 4. Now we've got minus x equals minus 4. We simply divide by minus 1. So we've got minus x divided by minus 1 equals minus 4 divided by minus 1. So we see the minus cancels out and we've got x equals 4. Here's another one and now we need to use a, a different approach. We have log x equals 4. Now, how do we do that? Well, we make use of our knowledge that log and 10 to the power of cancel each other out. So what we do is we take both sides 10 to the power of. So we've got 10 to the power of log of x 
equals 10 to the power of 4. I should write it like that. We know that 10 and log cancel out. So we've got x equals 10 to the power of 4 and that gives us 10,000. Here's another one. Log x equals 1.5. And again we know that log and 10 to the power eliminate each other, so we know what we need to do. We take both sides 10 to the power of. So we have 10 to the power of log x equals 10 to the power of 1.5. 10 and log cancel out, so we've got x equals 10 to the power of 1.5 and for that we uh, I need to get my calculator out. This gives us 31.62. Next question, oh we have log x equals minus 2.8. 7. Again, we know already how we deal with that. We take both sides 10 to the power of, so we've got 10 to the power of log x equals 10 to the power of minus 2.7. 10 and log cancel out, so we've got x equals 10 to the power of minus 2.7 and that gives roughly 2 times 10 to the minus 3 or you can write it as 0 0.002. Both answers are absolutely the same. Now let's have a look. At another question, um, we have here e, e to the power of x equals 1. Now that's an interesting one because now we don't have any longer here 10 to the power of x. Now we've got this e, this 2.7 something something something. And what we need to remember is that e and ln are the inverse mathematical operations. So what we've done before with 10 and log is now e and ln. So let's see how this works. We have e and therefore we take both sides ln. So we've got ln of uh, I should probably do it like that, e to the power of x equals ln of 1. We know that ln and e cancel each other out, so we've got x equals ln of 1, and uh, when we put that into the calculator it gives us 0. Let's use uh, another one, e to the power of x equals 2.5. So what do we need to do? Well, again, we know e and ln are the inverse operations, so we take both sides ln. We have ln of e to the power of x equals ln of... 2.5. ln e cancel out. We have x equals ln 2.5. When we put that into a calculator we get 
one six and it. Here is another one, just a little bit for practice. We have e to the power of minus 2x equals 0 0.05. Now, the first action point is to get rid of the e here. And again, we know how to do that. We take both sides ln. And we have ln of e to the power of minus 2x equals ln of 0 0.05. ln and e cancels out. And now we've got minus 2x on the left hand side equals, and let's get the calculator out. Well, this gives us roughly minus 3, very roughly, just a little bit of rounding. We divide now both sides by minus 2 and we get minus 2x divided by minus 2 equals minus 3 divided by minus 2. We need to do this operation for both. So the minus 2 minus 2 cancels out. And we've got x left. x equals the minus cancels out. And we've got 3 divided by 2 or roughly 1.5. Here's another one. We have now we have ln x equals 0 0.1. Now what we need to do now is we need to get rid of the ln and we know how to do that. We take both sides, e. What we get is e to the power of ln x equals e to the power of 0 0.1. We know e and ln cancel each other out, so we've got x equals e to the power of 0 0.1. And if we put that in the calculator, we get 1.0, oh, sorry, 1.105. Let's look at ln of x equals minus 2.7. Again, we know what we need to do. We need to eliminate the ln. And for that, we take both sides, e. So we have e to the power of ln of x equals e to the power of minus 2.7. e and ln cancel out. x equals e to the power of minus 2.7. And that put in the calculator gives us 6.72. We leave it like that. Last but not least, we have a little bit more complex uh, calculation, we have ln of 2x plus 3 equals 0. Well, what we do with this is, again, we need to get rid of the ln. That's a bit of a nuisance here. So what we do is we take both sides, e. We have e to the power of ln 2x plus 3 equals e to the power of 0. Now this cancels out and all we have left is 2x plus 3 and equals e to the power of 0 and anything to the power of 0 is 1. So we have now this equation here. All we need to do is solve it for 
our little x here and for that we want to have x sitting on its own so what we do is we get the plus 3 to the other side the way we do that is we take away 3 from both sides so we have 2x plus 3 minus 3 equals 1 minus 3 plus 3 minus 3 eliminate each other so we've got 2x equals 1 minus 3 gives minus 2 now we divide both sides by 2 and we have 2x divided by 2 equals minus 2 divided by 2 the 2 cancels out so we've got x left and here the 2 cancel out and we've got minus 1 and that is the answer to this uh, little problem. I hope this makes sense and you are feeling now more comfortable in using logarithms. Thank you for watching.